Dion, how's the um, kind of the mood of the, the offense in, in practice this week, getting ready for Oklahoma? Yeah. Um, no, we've been preparing more. You know, trying to do the small things, get back to the fundamentals, and get back to the foundations of everything. I feel like that's been our biggest focus of just like getting back to the small things, doing the ordinary things, extraordinary. So. What are you kind of learning about the culture of this program as you guys are going through a bit of a refiner fire with three game losing streaks and that kind of thing? Like it, it feels like this is when you kind of learn a lot about your team is when you're going through, yeah. through bad times like this. Yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, one thing I've learned about this team is, you know, how hard everyone works. And, you know, even after wins, we've had weeks to where everyone's just like, we got to turn it up a notch. And, you know, even after tough losses and, tough games where we know we could have did better, but we did it. You know, I feel like just the whole energy of the team and the attitude is just like, let's do more. What more can we do? So I, I feel like I've even adopted that and the running back room itself has even adopted that. Like, what more can we do to help, you know? What are your emotions, you know, nearing the finish line of mm -hmm. your college football career? Yeah, uh, you know, bittersweet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, obviously, you know, things don't always play out the way that you wanted to, but you know, I've had fun, and you know, I, I love this family, and I wouldn't want to be here with anyone else. So, you know, it's kind of sad, you know, but at the same time, you know, each each event and each thing that we go through in life is almost a stepping stone. So, I know I'm stepping into my next phase of life. So, you know, I'm excited. Uh, the biggest thing is I just want to spend these next two weeks having fun, as much fun as I possibly can. Are you, are you still happy with the? The decision, you know, now it's nearing the end to yeah. come here to BYU. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, like I said, you know, things don't always go how we plan it or how we expect it to. But the biggest thing is that, you know, I've surrounded myself with an atmosphere that is like family. And, you know, these are my brothers and I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone else. What were your expectations and maybe what was kind of the biggest change that you feel like was I feel like just productivity on offense, you know, I feel like that kind of slowed us down. And I know, like, even just talking to fans, fans aren't used to that, you know, seeing the offense kind of struggle as much as we've done. So, you know, the biggest thing that kind of threw a wrench in is just, like, you know, our lack of productivity on offense. But at the same time, it's like, you know, it happens sometimes. And, you know, it's the, the little things. And sometimes we don't focus enough on the small things to where it turns into big things. So. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I kind of, I kind of figured as such, but you know, I, I didn't really know. I didn't really have like my expectations set on. You know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I've just been kind of going with the flow, and that's kind of what it's been like since I first got here. Why do you think maybe there have been times when, like, at least early in the season, you mm. were a part of that and then kind of went away from that? Like, why do you yeah. think that? Kind of happened? You know, I just feel like just the struggling with the offense as a whole. You know, like it's kind of hard to get into a rhythm and move guys around and shuffle things around whenever. We're not having consistency with, you know, even the first group or even the second group, you know. So I feel like just that lack of productivity just kind of slowed it down. And, you know, what we've struggled with is keeping the ball and staying on the field. And it's kind of hard whenever we're not staying on the field and we have a lot of three and out. So. Well, the last two weeks, the run games kind of turned up a little bit, yeah. a notch. And, and obviously you guys are healthier. Aiden's yeah. healthy and LG is coming back yeah. to health and whatnot. But does any of that play into just having a more mobile quarterback, a running quarterback like Jake? Can that play into the run game and, I, and I, help you guys? I feel like it has for sure. Uh, just because, you know, you got to keep those guys honest and they're not able to just like prevent and stop the run because the quarterback can pull it, you know, and when those defensive ends mesh charge and try to, you know, get us from the backside, it's kind of hard on them when the quarterback has pulled it three times for 60 yards during the game. And it's like, okay, they have to stay a little bit more honest. So I feel like it's made a little bit more wider lanes for us. And it's even like increased the amount of seams that we see. Being someone who grew up in Texas, did you follow Oklahoma at all? I mean, knowing border state, things like that. Yeah, definitely. I just know that the energy in Texas is, you know, a lot of people kind of despise Oklahoma, but not in a bad way, only because, you know, they take all the talent from Texas. So it's like, why not just stay at home and play for your, your squad? So, yeah. This is your first time facing Playing. Oklahoma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. Yes, sir. I know you hadn't played in Texas before. Mm, this like, season, yeah, yeah. Right? But, like, Oklahoma's kind of close. Do you think yeah. you have a lot of people there this time? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, my family's excited. Uh, I'm excited. It's going to be a big game. You know, we just got to handle business, and I feel like, you know, that's a great way to end the end the season on a positive note, despite the adversity we faced throughout the season. What have you seen from this Oklahoma team? 
You know, I feel like they're physical, they're disciplined, you know, they're very gap sound, and offensively they're very explosive. So, I mean, I feel like we have to do a good job of, you know, just being productive, staying on the field, converting, getting in second, third, and short situations. Um, yeah, but I know that they're very disciplined on defense, super physical. They're going to be where they're supposed to be at all times, so we just have to do our part. What's been your favorite part about being a BYU football player and living here in, in Provo? I feel like the community, the support system is unmatched. <laughs> like even when I first got here, I feel like I've been welcomed since like family. And I know even after my time here, I'm still going to have a great support system and community. So I feel like that's the number one thing. And that's something that's like you can't find that anywhere else. Sir, thank you guys.